Welcome to the lab. My name is Rock Steady, and this week on Extract All the Things, we'll be doing turmeric. Turmeric is an interesting one for sure. So it's a perennial herbaceous plant, and it hails from India predominantly. You know, it's a gorgeous plant. It looks very tropical. You know, it has very, very broad leaves. Uh, it should be noted that when you consume turmeric, or the turmeric that we're going to extract, we aren't using the leaves. We're using the rhizome of the plant. And the rhizome is kind of like this little fleshy uh, bulb, essentially. And uh, yeah, that gets ground up and uh, becomes the spiced turmeric that we all know. The main compounds of interest in this extraction are going to be a group of compounds known as curcuminoids. Uh, the main curcuminoid that we're going to be interested in is curcumin. Now, curcumin is a well-studied compound. It has many purported, you know, uh, antioxidant effects, uh, anti-inflammatory effects, and potentially even anti-cancer effects. Besides curcumin, we can expect a wide range of active and inactive compounds to be present in our extract. We can expect a wide range of various essential oils. To do our extract today, we're going to be using uh, ethanol. The material we're actually extracting today is this beautiful yellow kind of gold powder. It just looks really, really nice, really, really beautiful. I'm quite excited to see the color of our final extract. I think it's going to uh, surprise us. I'm going to do a smell test real quick. I'm just going to pop the top on this uh, spice bottle and uh, give it a quick whiff. Oh, that smells really good. You know, if you haven't smelled turmeric before, it's like robust and uh, very warm. Slightly spicy, but kind of like subtly and a little sweet too. Overall, it's a, a very, very pleasant smell, and uh, I'm quite excited to smell what our concentrated uh, turmeric extract will smell like. If you like this kind of content, please comment, like, subscribe, support the channel. It really helps me out, and I appreciate it. Anyways, let's begin. Welcome to the bench. I've taken all the proper safety precautions. I'm wearing my safety glasses, gloves, my lab coat, and I've also turned on ventilation in my workspace. Uh, in front of me, I have everything laid out that I need to weigh out are loading into our thimble. Um, this is a Soxlet thimble. If you have never heard or seen Soxlet before, I have a bunch of videos on my channel about it. So it's a technique that I, uh, I really, really like. I really enjoy. It's a great technique for the extraction of you know, various biomasses or uh, solid state materials using uh, freshly distilled solvent, uh, essentially. It's, uh, it's a great technique. This thimble, I'm gonna be using a custom 3D printed funnel. Uh, that I designed to make loading thimbles much easier. Oh, that smells so good. And now we're just loading up. I got 63 grams into the thimble so far. I'm gonna target 100. I think we can fit 100 in here uh, fairly well. Just a beautiful orange color. Just absolutely gorgeous. There we go. There we go. So we got 100 grams in our thimble. Take a look at that. It's a nice, nice looking color. It's uh, very vibrant. The solvent we're going to be using for today's extraction is grain alcohol. So this is 95% ethanol, 5% water. You'll see me use it a lot here on the channel just because it's uh, you know fairly non-toxic, easy to work with, and you know, all that good stuff. In this beaker in front of me, I'm going to weigh out 300 grams of grain alcohol. 300, okay, a little heavy. 306 grams was our final solvent weight. Awesome, we got our thimble loaded, we got our solvent poured, and uh, now I'm gonna begin setting up the Soxlet. I'm gonna take our 300 grams of ethanol and pour it in. I'm gonna take our Soxlet body, I'm gonna grease it really quick. Just a little dab will do ya. Before we set the rest of the apparatus up, I'm going to put our thimble in. Try not to make a big mess or break the body if I can avoid it. Greased up, ready to go. I'm gonna adjust this uh, boss head and this clamp real quick so the system is secured. We got our condenser right here that's been hooked up to a chiller. Turn the chiller on real quick. Let's watch it fill up. Always fun to watch. But we're gonna install this into our system that's been greased, all that. 
Let it cool down for a little bit. I'm gonna insulate the system real quick. I'm super excited to see what uh, our extract is gonna look like. I have a feeling it's gonna be super vibrant. It may not be as vibrant as those beets that we uh, extracted last time. Our system is mostly up to temperature. We have solvent that is distilling in our boiling flask, traveling up this vapor path, condensing on the condenser, and dripping into our thimble full of turmeric. Uh, you know, we've been running for about half an hour now. So far, we've collected this gorgeous yellow solution. Uh, we still need to uh, let this fill up, and saturate, all that good stuff. We need to do a couple cycles. So this is just the beginning of the run. It's looking really good. It's very, very vibrant. We're just gonna do a quick UV light test to see if there's any reactivity. And uh, there sure is. It looks like highlighter, uh, like straight up, that looks like highlighter ink. It's kind of crazy very beautiful. That's about to cycle. So far it looks phenomenal. So we can see that our extract is nearing the top of the siphon tube and uh, any second now it's just gonna go over that little bend and when it does it's going to uh, essentially pull a vacuum and uh, cause a siphon and it's going to empty this entire uh, soxalate body. I'm excited to uh, see what this extract looks like. We had our first cycle. It's looking great. The solution is now a much darker orange color. And uh, at a glance, it also seems like this has a lot more UV activity. It went from this, uh, you know, beautiful yellowish, greenish gold color to this phenomenal fiery orange color. And it looks pretty spectacular. I'm, I'm quite stoked with it. So we're going to let this run for two more cycles, for a total of three cycles. And uh, yeah, we'll proceed to salt recovery. We'll uh, get this material uh, concentrated and see what we're, what we're working with. Uh, but I have a feeling that the final oil's color is going to be like uh, orangish color, maybe a red color. Uh, it's going to look pretty cool, I can tell you that. But uh, yeah, I'm excited. Uh, the system's at temp now, you know, it's fully insulated again, so it's running pretty quick. The solution is getting a lot more brown. We had a successful extraction. We ran for three cycles, and uh, yeah, here's kind of what we got so far. Uh, it's this beautiful dark orange, reddish uh, solution uh, that leaves kind of a gold residue. Uh, I'm excited to get this to solvent recovery, and uh, yeah, we're gonna see what we yielded. It's hard to say which molecule is fluorescing back, but it is probably curcumin. Curcumin is going to be the most abundant compound within our extraction, and it's a very interesting one. You know, it has a lot of purported benefits. Purported to be a, a very potent antioxidant, as well as a very potent uh, anti-inflammatory. It also may solicit certain, you know, anti-cancer effects uh, in people that consume it, which is uh, very, very cool. You know, there's a reason that has been used as a natural medicine for eons, you know. It's just a very, very beneficial and potent plant. And, uh, you know, this, this extract, I'm, I'm very curious to see uh, what we got in there. Uh, I'm also really curious to smell it. I have a feeling it's just going to smell... Uh, insane. I tore down the soxlet and uh, preparation for our next stage of uh, processing, but check out how it stained this paper towel. That is uh, just about the most vivid yellow I've ever seen. It should be mentioned that uh, you know turmeric has also been used as a yellow dye for a very very long time, and uh, yeah, we can see why. It's uh, pretty impressive. Uh, we also got this flask right here that is uh, looking pretty good. Um, it's like a, kind of a reddish brown oil, but it leaves this beautiful, like yellow residue. Um, looks kind of kind of awesome. Before we proceed to solvent recovery, I'm just going to do a quick gravity filtration, and to do that, I'm just using a Erlenmeyer flask, a glass powder funnel, and a coffee filter. I'm just going to start pouring it in and uh, letting it filter. Beautiful orange color coming out of that. Oh my gosh. That's uh, filtering now. It's going pretty quick, but you can just see the color that the material stains the glass. Like it's, uh, it's completely yellow now. It's uh, kind of beautiful. Completed our gravity filtration and it yielded this really nice looking product. Just stains everything yellow. Like look at, look at my gloves. They're just, 
just straight stained. But I got the Rotovap set up, and uh, you know the bath is heating up, the chiller is uh, cooling down, and uh, prepared everything that I need. I'm gonna be running this very large um, self-draining bump trap. This thing is just massive. It's an awesome bump trap, and a uh, 500 mil flask, and uh, we should be good to go. But we got the bump trap installed. I'm just gonna start with a, a very light loading. So I'm gonna use the same funnel that we use to do our gravity filtration. And I'm just gonna start with like 200 mils. And it's just a beautiful orange color. Oh my gosh. Pour is so nice. Yeah. We are Good to go. So now we've begun solving recovery. And uh, yeah, we'll see what we yield. So we got to that first pole and uh, it looks pretty good. It reduced down to this reddish brown, uh, kind of oily residue. Let's uh, refill it. Let's see what we yield first. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, it's kind of like orangish red kind of residue. Oh man, <laughs> that smells really, really good. It's an interesting smell. It's very, very complex, like very, very complex. Um, but it's very, very pleasant. It's not as good as chamomile. You know, I would rate this at about a, a seven or an eight on the, the smell scale, but uh, it's not bad, not bad at all. I'm just gonna fill it real quick and uh, I'm gonna get through the rest of this material and uh, we'll see what we yield. We yielded this very red and uh, gorgeous uh, extract. Um, so let's see what our, our yield is real quick. So remember we started with 100 grams of uh, turmeric. So our yield is uh, 12 grams. So that's a uh, 12% yield. That's uh, pretty good. I guess. Yeah, that's uh, better than I actually expected. But uh, let's uh, let's smell it real quick. That is a good smell. And that is uh, very, very interesting, very, very complex. There's a bunch of layers of like scent there. I'm curious, I'm curious. I'm gonna compare that to just our starting material, right? So this is the, the turmeric powder. Hmm, they smell more or less the same, but this is like more intense. That's pretty good though. We had a 12% yield. We yielded a, a very nice looking product. It's just this orange red color that's like really intense and dark. Yeah, this looks pretty good. But uh, now I have the chore of uh, scraping this out of the flask and uh, yeah, getting it into a test tube to add to our extract all the things library. Uh, but yeah. I'm happy with that. So we had a successful extraction of uh, turmeric. We yielded a uh, beautiful oil. You know, it's kind of like this uh, thick, sticky, resinous material that is uh, dark red to black. And then in thin films, it's kind of like an orangish yellow color. It's, uh, it's quite beautiful. The stuff stains just absolutely everything. You know, the pigments uh, in this material are just intense. Turmeric is a great extract to have in our library. I'm kind of stoked to, to have this. We did it. We successfully extracted turmeric. It yielded a uh, beautiful product. It's this kind of red, sticky, resinous oil uh, that is very, very intense smelling and uh, very, very sticky. Uh, this stuff just sticks to everything and then it stains everything. Uh, the pigments in turmeric are no joke. You know, there's a reason why turmeric has been used as a dye for eons. Uh, it's just a very, very potent yellow to it as well. It's just a gorgeous, gorgeous color. I'm very happy with the results. We got two more samples for our Extract All the Things library. Uh, in the future, I'll get a standard for curcumin and we'll do some analysis on this material. But other than that, I think it went really, really well. Um, I learned a lot. I hope you guys did too. Uh, if you like this kind of content, please comment, like, subscribe. 
Anyways, thanks for spending time with me and my lab. I got some really cool videos uh, planned and uh, they'll be coming out soon. I'm gonna try to release content more regularly, but I'm a pretty busy guy. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Oh, and then one more thing. Put down in the comments what you guys think I should extract next. Also, I gotta give a shout out to uh, Gold Leaf Scientific at goldleaflabs.com. Uh, go check them out, hit them up, they'll take care of you. Uh, also, shout out to future4200.com.